Good morning mga kadalight Our daily grace devotion today is entitled Only Grace Brings Lasting Freedom Romans 5.21 says As sin reigned in death Even so grace might reign through righteousness To eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord Beloved Even as there are so many who are freed by a revelation of God's glorious grace, there are people who are twisting God's word today, saying that when people are under grace, it will cause them to sin, to sin without restraint. This is a lie from the pit of hell. You cannot be under grace and not be holy anymore any more than you can be under water and not be wet. It is being under grace that gives you the power to live a victorious life. The Word of God clearly states, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. That's in Romans 6, 14. When you are under grace and not under the law, sin shall not have dominion over you. The word sin here is a noun. It is the Greek word for hamartia, meaning a failing to hit the mark. So you can say that you can say it this way: sicknesses, diseases, eating disorders, addictions, and any form of oppression or bondage. All examples of our missing God's mark or standard for a glorious life shall not have dominion over you. When? When you are not under the law, but under grace. Let me show you how being under grace enables you to overcome your challenges and live victoriously with an amazing testimony from Anna of Iowa. Although she grew up in a godly environment, attended a charismatic church, spent daily time with God, and even taught in a Sunday school, Anna felt into bondage, but knew how to hide her addiction to cigarettes and marijuana as well. And marijuana... Well, she knew she was hurting the temple of God. She condemned herself for being a hypocrite and felt absolutely worthless. Throughout the 16 years of bondage, I attempted so many times to quit my addictions, including the time I was pregnant with my two beautiful boys. I did quit for a while, but as soon as I gave birth, I quickly picked up the habits again because the desires had never left my heart. While my prayers for others have always been powerful and effective, I was very mad at God, because my prayers for my own freedom seemed to go under her unheard, or at least unanswered. Then, about a year and a half ago, I began to watch Joseph Prince's television program daily. I also began ordering materials that the Holy Spirit led me to get. And I was in the Word of Grace for hours daily, even while under the influence of cigarettes and marijuana. Hope began to fill my heart. Not hope that I would soon be free, but hope that no matter what my state was, my father would never be mad at me. His grace was enough for the Apostle Paul. And His grace is enough for me. For so long, I tried to earn the blessings, including the freedom of God. But after allowing the water of the Word to cleanse me daily, I was able to receive His love, grace, shalom, and all of His blessings regarding of my behavior. Every time I used cigarettes or marijuana, I would say, Thank you, Father that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I quit trying to quit and decided that His grace was enough for me. 
Today, today I have been set free from the both addictions. I didn't try to quit. It just happened. My Heavenly Father has completely taken the desires away from me. Even when I am in public and exposed to others who are smoking, I still have no desire to do the same. Even right now, thinking about this great freedom, I have to cry and cry out. My Father is so faithful. Thank you so much for daring to speak the truth. I am so grateful that Christ, through your ministry, has set me free. It's time for the captives to be set free in the name of Jesus. Beloved, what willpower and self-effort couldn't do, God did by the power of His glorious grace. Grace is the power over every addiction that is destroying you. Only grace can give you lasting freedom.